Hey guys, welcome back to Simply Learn. Today we will be discussing all about AWS and its impact in 2021. So let's get started. According to O'Reilly, more than 90% of organizations are expected to increase their cloud infrastructure. In 2021, the upshot is that the majority of cloud users plan to scale their business in cloud rather than reducing their cloud usage share. The COVID-19 pandemic led organizations to increasingly shift to the cloud, which helped them improve business continuity. Official meetings like video conferencing were done on the cloud using apps as Google Meet, Zoom, etc. Now let me give you a brief description on what cloud computing is. Cloud computing helps users to store, access and manage data by logging in from their devices via the internet. Instead of storing data on their hard drives, cloud computing gives the ability to manage applications and services through the internet. Let's see what Gartner says about cloud infrastructure and platform services. For your information, Gartner is the famous IT service management company across the world. Gartner's Magic Quadrant report for cloud infrastructure and platform services noted that the capability gap between hyperscale cloud providers has begun to narrow. However, fierce competition for enterprise workloads extends to secondary markets worldwide. The famous cloud providers in the market are AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud, all of which have been strong. AWS or Amazon Web Services has been known for its rapid pace of innovation in cloud computing, and this year is no different. AWS is the leader in public cloud providers and has a more significant impact on modern technologies like machine learning, robotics, and IoT. Amazon Web Services is an online service provider that offers various services such as compute power, storage, database, content delivery, and other resources to help businesses scale and grow. These services are provided based on a subscription basis. Talking about the general features, Amazon Web Services was founded in the year 2006, and apparently it holds a market share of 31.7%. AWS provides approximately 175 fully featured services. It consists of significant benefits like compute, storage, databases, networking, analytics, robotics, machine learning, artificial intelligence, etc. Now, let us know the five primary reasons why AWS is essential and how it can influence your business. Amazon Web Services has various benefits that make users rely on them. Firstly, it allows you to set up a virtual office which will reduce the cost of maintaining and monitoring your infrastructure. Secondly, compared to the on-premises environment, AWS provides a high level of data protection and a lower cost to its users. Thirdly, based on the requirement you receive, you can scale up or scale down your resources. Fourthly, in case you face a power failure or any crisis, having your file stored in the cloud ensures it is backed up and secured in a safe location. And lastly, in short, AWS offers high scalable services for database, data warehousing, transcoding, storage, backup, infrastructure management, application management, etc., which helps in reducing the overall time and effort spent in setting up and managing the infrastructure. Now, let's take a step back and look at the history of AWS. Amazon Web Services was the first online service provider to introduce a pay-as-you-go pricing model in cloud computing. AWS was launched in 2006 with three services, Amazon EC2, AWS S3 Cloud Storage, and SQS. Now, let us discuss how much the companies have saved with the help of AWS. This shows a tremendous benefit of using AWS. AWS continues to lower the cost of the cloud for its customers. Compared to on-premise infrastructure, when a web application is deployed on AWS, companies save 76% of the total expense. Companies save over 50% by running business applications by consuming AWS resources. AWS is the world's most broadly adopted cloud platform. Many companies like ESPN, Adobe, Twitter, Netflix, Facebook, BBC, etc. use AWS. Adobe quickly creates and updates software without depending upon the IT teams. It utilizes its services by offering multi-terabyte operating environments for its clients. By deploying its services with Amazon, Adobe integrated and operated its software in a simple manner. A lot of people don't know the reason for AWS being so popular. To understand the popularity of AWS, you need to look at these numbers first. First is cost. AWS costs keep declining. AWS has decreased its service price as many as 60 times since its launch. 
AWS saves 76% of the expenditure of running a standard web application and reduces the processing cost by 50%. One third of people who visit websites on a daily basis access sites powered by AWS. AWS has customers over 190 countries worldwide, including 5,000 edtech institutions and 2,000 government organizations. 31% of cloud infrastructure as a market share service belongs to AWS, while 10% belongs to Microsoft and 7% to IBM. AWS has more than 1 million users in 190 countries. Now, let's discuss the revenue growth of AWS. According to Gartner, Amazon retained the number one position in the IAS market in 2019, followed by Microsoft and Google. Amazon continued to stay on top of the IAS market worldwide with an estimated $20 billion of revenue in 2019 and $96.1 billion in 2020. As of February report, Canalis confirms AWS has a total market share of 31%, whereas Microsoft holds a share up to 20%. Microsoft maintained number two position in the IAS platform with more than half of its nearly $8 billion in revenue. According to the Canalys diagram shown on your screen, Amazon leveraged its number one position in the cloud market continuously from 2019 to 2020 by offering complete and unique services in the cloud stack. In Q2 2020, a prediction of profit in AWS was expected to reach $88.9 billion, but surprisingly, due to COVID-19, the company saw quarterly sales increase to $88.9 billion. The net income of $5.2 billion was the highest in a single quarter, while Microsoft Azure has seen revenue growth of 47% over the previous quarter. The report has a revenue growth number of various cloud providers. AWS is continuously adding new features to utilize the updated services to improve the productivity of work more quickly. Let's discuss each service one by one. At number one, Amazon CloudFront supports Origin Shield. Amazon has updated its CloudFront service with a Shield feature that increases cache capacity and decreases the load on your origin. Next, AWS IAM supports AWS Private Link which means it can invoke Lambda functions into a virtual private cloud by eliminating network traffic to the public internet. Thirdly, Amazon SNS supports FIFO in sequence. Amazon SNS introduces first-in, first-out topics intended for customers to process messages across multiple services in a sequenced manner. Amazon SNS FIFO is available in 22 AWS regions. Next, AWS DMS functionality supports Amazon Document DB. Amazon Document DB has the responsibility of storing, querying, and indexing data with AWS Database Migration Service support. DMS helps in migrating databases to AWS environments quickly. Next, Amazon Chime SDK now supports health monitoring and troubleshooting. Developers can now collect client metrics from meeting events available from the Amazon Chime SDK for JavaScript. Finally, AWS Server Migration Service now adds support for application monitoring using Amazon CloudWatch Application Insights. You can start monitoring applications in Amazon CloudWatch as soon as the application migration is complete in AWS SMS. There are plenty of cloud jobs that can help you grow in your career. Tech Republic says in the past few months, job seekers are hunting for cloud computing roles on Indeed website. Cloud computing job roles such as cloud infrastructure, cloud security, cloud architect, and cloud engineer had risen nearly by 108%. Employer interest for candidates with cloud computing skills rose by 33%. Now, let's look at who an AWS Solutions Architect is and what they do. An AWS Solutions Architect is responsible for deploying your applications on the AWS platform. Ever since cloud computing has come into the limelight, companies and organizations worldwide have started to migrate their physical infrastructure to the cloud. This is where AWS Solutions Architects come in. They help in relocating the physical infrastructure to the AWS cloud. AWS Solutions Architect is responsible for creating a design with a detailed blueprint of the cloud infrastructure they plan to set up. They are required to focus on non-functional requirements such as usability, reliability, scalability, and cloud infrastructure performance. AWS Solutions Architects are responsible for minimizing business risks such as security leaks, calculation mistakes, and even application downtime risks. Every AWS Solutions Architect must ensure that none of these problems happen. 
a lot of people must be wondering how much a solution architect and a cloud engineer earns. The average salary of a solution architect in India is Rs. 18,36,996 per year and in the United States they earn $128,000 per annum. Whereas a cloud engineer in India earns Rs. 12,41,000 per annum and in the United States they earn $139,440 per annum. Now that you know about AWS and its important concepts, time for a small quiz. Which of the following is an online backup and storage system? Option A, Amazon Simple Storage System, AWS S3. Option B, AWS CloudFormation. Option C, Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, AWS EC2. And option D, both A and C. Let us know what you think is the right answer in the comments below. That's all for now. Thank you for watching our video and stay tuned for more. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.